This is useful gamers and today here I've got the OnePlus 2 Dirty Unicorns ROM um, for the OnePlus 2 of course. Now this is the Dirty Unicorns ROM for the OnePlus 2 um, <coughs> and it's running Android 7.1 Nougat. Now there's something about it, um, if you're still waiting for the Nougat update from uh, OnePlus themselves, it's probably going to take quite a while. Uh, they're, they're asking for it but they're not giving it. So if you're impatient and you're waiting for something like an Android Nougat 7.1, then it, it, then a ROM like Dirty Unicorns is the outcome. As you can see that we indeed running a OnePlus 2. It's indeed uh, Android version 7.1.2. As you can tell, we're a little closer. We got uh, the security patch April 5th, 2017. We got Dirty Unicorns version official 11.3. Um, the kernel uh, version, everything here has got for you. You get the build date and that kind of stuff. So, um,. Okay, all right, so you can see that root is not root is not built in. So uh, I have Magisk flashed right now. As you can see, if I open the root management, you can see that I'm indeed opening. Oops, anyway, we got indeed opening Magisk right here. You can see indeed that it's um, that I'm rooted. Um, it doesn't come pre-rooted. This ROM, so you're gonna have to root it yourself. Now uh, you're gonna have to just flash the, mag the install the Magisk app and just install the flash in the Magisk V12 uh, zip. And there you go, and you'll be all good. Um, the raw uh, magic score is great with this. However, if you want to use apps like Snapchat and that kind of stuff, you actually want to um, you want to you want to hide magic using magic hide. Enable that, reboot the system, and then when magic hide magic hide is enabled, Snapchat will work uh, like normal again. Else, you can log into Snapchat if you don't magic hide. But that's something else. It's believed also for Pokemon Go and some banking apps in some countries. So I got a current theme installed. The theme is called uh, Coalfield. If any guys are wondering, you got the subs full substratum, rootless substratum support in this ROM. So if you want to use a substratum with this, it's it's supported without root. So you can just install a substratum app, and it should work without root, um, as with most of the ROMs uh, for Android Nougat. Now you got all the basic Android features plus um, some extra ge gestures. And gestures, I don't know if these are in there by default, but they're there. Um, you got now this is the, the special section here to get the themes uh, that happens when you have substratum installed. You can see. All your themes that you've got, you've got going on. Um, now you've got. Oh, I'm opening the themes again. What the? You got the, the updater, which is the updater. You can show all, your, all the latest. You can check for the latest versions of Dirty Unicorns and update them. You got, now the main thing you got here is the dirty tweaks. That are the main main things that you want to be looking for. So here you got a couple of different tabs. You got system, lock screen, status bar navigation and multitasking now it's not as many features as you got with something like a ROM like Res resurrection remix but it's definitely quite a couple of features you can mess around with you can fuck with and you can do things with and whatever not so i'm going to show you so first we've got expand and desktop now expand and desktop basically means that when you open an app an app one of these apps that you choose that are not by default expanded desktop you basically select this and then the status bar and if you have an uh, on-screen navigation buttons they'll, they'll go away and they'll it'll become full screen and a, a very Im immersive experience if you like that that's there now you got the, the extra one plus gesture so draw a circle on the uh, on the screen off to get the camera the music and the flashlight these are all like things that are also there with default oxygen os 3.5.8 so it's not really something special uh have the feedback basically means that you know like it says they're vibrate when a gesture is detected it's not very special you're gonna adjust the what the positions on the alert slider do. If you uh, like that, I modify them a little bit. You got miscellan miscellaneous, which is uh, basically shows you uh, all kinds of things like notification of flashlight, the name, toast icon, scrolling cache. You can set a couple of things. You can set also one thing that I really like is um, the type of screenshot to like only set make full screen yes, screenshot or something like um, only selection of the screen and it'll select how long the delay is you want it to take before the screenshot gets taken it's also something that I really appreciate because sometimes it takes too long or it's too short until uh, the screenshots get taken and they also have power menu which is uh, basically all your basic things you can adjust the power menu on the power menu animation all that kind of stuff you got lock screen you can adjust what's being shown on the lock screen 
you can uh, make sure that if you double tap the power button, also long press the power button, then you can actually turn on the, the flashlight. You got status bar, um, you can adjust all kinds of things on how the icon in the top of the status bar like there looks. I prefer circle personally, but you know, it's up to you. Uh, you can change the color while it's charging and show different things and everything. So the percentage in it or not, you can carry a label, which you can see, make sure that the carry label actually shows wherever you want it to be shown. So in the disable lock screen status bar or both. Um, you can have a custom carrier label. That's your thing. You can have the clock. You can modify the clock to whatever you want. You can show it the, make it sh make it show the time in the middle like I have. Um, you can modify the notifications, uh, whatever. Not very really important. And the quick settings. You can modify the quick settings. Look how many tiles you want you know, down here. You can select how many tiles you exactly want in this. It's not very. I'm not going to show you everything right now, but you can change the animations a little bit so that they look cool like, like I did here. Look, if I can detect it on my internet, you see that it does this cool animation. You can decide that and change that. Uh, so you get that. You get status bar items. So you basically can allow you to show you a couple of things. Like, for example, I have the DU, Dirty Unicorns logo up there. Camera, camera's not very great with focusing, but... And it, it shows you all kinds of icons up in the in the status bar that you want to change. For example, I have disabled the volume one so that it doesn't show the vibrate. Um, the vibrate icon all, all the time up there okay so then what else do we have um, traffic indicator is basically you know showing your outgoing going and incoming traffic up there I guess you can see that there you go you got navigation you can adjust how the buttons behave um, what they will do that kind of stuff you can uh, add of course your on-screen navigation buttons you can change between smart bar or fling. Just what, what's, what's your kind of deal? And I use I use uh, hardware buttons basically all the time. But if you are into that kind of stuff, it's there. Uh, I know a lot of people like that. Uh, you can change the heads up. You can turn the heads off, heads up off if you want to. You can turn on, on, and you have on the switch. It's basically an an alternate version of the recent spent menu. I'm gonna show you right now. So if you enable it, and you go into. You can see you get on the switch right here. Basically, it's a recent panel, but just. A little bit uh, different than the other one and you can actually disable the other one and then completely use omni switch only I like the normal one default and I have as you can see the, so the memory bar you can see how much memory you've left free like you can actually add a like a clear all button like it's, a, it's not this one but a dedicated one you can show you see this one you allow you this one at the bottom there if you want that it's something you like so this is basically all the dirty tweaks um, and it's really great ROM. It's overall it does it does a great job. All the features are there. It's super snappy. I don't know if you can tell. Um, just by running right now, it's everything is super snappy, super clean. And of course, you're running Android 7.1.1. You got the latest security patches if you update your ROM a lot, and everything works. I mean, there's no real flaws with this ROM currently, as I as far as I've experienced, nothing is wrong with it. You, if you flash magic, you got full root support. Uh, but uh, if you don't are not into rooting, you know, you got, you got rootless substratum support. If you want, by the way, before we continue, um, Google Assistant also works. So I'm going to show you right now. Okay, Google. As you can see, Google Assistant works. Here's what I found on the web. Anyways, that works. Um, so yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next video. I'm going to do some more uh, Android mod modding videos and stuff lately. So uh, hope to see you guys in the next one and. Uh, have a good one, and see you in the next one.